All right, good morning. Today I'm on my farm. I come to look at a problem on the farm. So we're going to be discussing some small ruminants business this morning. Um, this is Trevor Bernard here. One of the things is that I have a lot of coughing and sneezing happening on the farm. The problem is it's similar to cold. So the, the goats having the same symptoms like a, like a cold, runny nose, sneezing, coughing. And this is pointing to pneumonia. One thing when you have a lot of rainfall and you have your animals in a wet environment, and you know when they get, you know, they get cold when the rain wet them up and they get very, very cold and in the wet mud, and especially when they are on the ground or out into the fields, they can get pneumonia and get a fever. Normally what you do when you see this coughing, you usually check your temperature. So if you see temperatures like 103 to like 106, high temperature, you know, pneumonia is usually the cause of something like this. You'll see sneezing, you'll see running nose. I am going to show you one of the goats with the running nose. If you look right here, you'll see her nose, you know, like mucus is coming out of her nose. She's showing it right now. And when they have pneumonia, you find that they kind of look droopy, droopy. The, the tail hang down sometimes, the ears, they look very sad. They have a very sad demeanor. This is when the pneumonia case is getting very bad. It's something that we should take very serious. So people always wonder why in the rainy season and when the time is very hot, very wet, that the animals um, you usually lose a lot of animals and die. So usually pneumonia and these kind of sicknesses is a part of it. And what happens is that also internal parasites, because what happens when the ground is wet, the parasites breed up a lot more and the fecal on the ground and so forth, and the animals become more infested with internal parasites. Even if you're feeding them out into the, into the pasta, the worm goes up on the grass and they eat the grass with a lot of worm in it and creates internal parasite problems. But right now I have a pneumonia type problem on my farm. I have my animals as you can see on slotted floors. So my animals generally speaking is very dry and are not suffering from a wet environment. If you look you can see the floor. The floor is not wet and damp. You can hear in the background a lot of sneezing happening. It's quite a few of these animals are sneezing and coughing. And I didn't understand why this was happening. And I, I kept looking at it. It can't be the cold weather and so forth, even though that can affect you. And what I discovered and realized was the hay that I'm feeding the animals with. The hay is very dusty. Now, when you are feeding animals with bag feeding, and some people make their own feeding and they make use very fine feed. Some people use chicken feed and you know chicken mash and layer and different kind of feedings and feed their goats. That's why it's not a good idea to use the fine dusty feeling feeding. Because when the animals eat that dust, they inhale the dust and it can cause respiratory problems. You can hear coughing happening right here now on one of the goats over the other side of the pen and the sneezing. You hear sneezing and you hear coughing, you see the mucus coming out of the nose. And my analysis and my feeling on this is because of the hay. The hay is very dusty. Another thing that I do, I also trough cut up the hay. And when I trough it up, a lot of dust come off the hay. So one of the recommendations to do with this hay is to sprinkle some molasses water on it to cut down the amount of dust content. I have also transition in another way. I kind of mix my feeding with beer apps and I use also bag feeding. And now I trough up my hay and I mix the hay and everything together. And I put a little mineral in it too and mix everything together. And this is going to cut down on the dust that is causing this problem. How do you treat pneumonia? Well, there's a thing called banadine. Really banadine is for inflammation and also for pain and so forth. So if in extreme cases when you see that the animal looks withdrawn then you might have to give the animal something like that for you know to help with the pain and to help with you know swelling and so forth but 
right now I am giving my animals an antibiotic. You also have to treat them with antibiotic when you have pneumonia. I don't have, I don't think I have any animals here with extreme uh, extreme symptoms. I am now giving them antibiotic and I spoke to my vet and he advised me to use a liquid form of the antibiotic that I put in the water and I am going to be treating the animals with this antibiotic for about five days which was recommended. I would say maybe 20 or 30 of these animals are coughing and sneezing in my, in my operation right now. So to go around and give them an antibiotic injection will be too much. So I have chosen to give them the antibiotic in their water and that's what I'm doing right here now. And I'm also making adjustments now and giving them, trying to take the dust out of the hay by mixing the hay with the feeding, meaning you know, because the brewer's grain or the bear apps, because it is wet, I mix it with the hay, trough cut it up, mix it with the hay, mix it with the bag feeding, and feed it to them as a total ration. So they're almost getting a total ration with a little um, mineral in it. And this is how I am feeding my animals right now. You heard that loud sneeze a while ago. Now, one of the things is that you can check for the pneumonia with high temperature, but with a goat, the temperature can go up or it can be down. You can have low temperature too, you know, where it dropped too low. Low temperature is very hard to treat, but if you have a high temperature, that is easier to manage. Now, we have to pay attention to this. Also, when you have this pneumonia thing, what happens sometimes, the lungs will become filled with liquid. And I have done, we have done an autopsy on, on an animal that had extreme pneumonia, one of my rams. And when he died, he died because of new, he was sneezing and coughing and, and acting like this. This happened a couple of months ago. And when they cut the animal open and they looked at his organs inside, his organs were dysfunctional. They never looked proper at all. So, you know, his lungs became filled with liquid and inside, and I guess some kind of crushing effect and damage to his organs inside can happen. Now, pneumonia can kill your animal in one day. If it's extreme, it can kill your animal within a day, within 24 hours. You can have, come and see the animal here today and you don't treat it and the next morning you come and you see a dead animal. This is the reason why people who rear goats and have them out in the rain and when you start to get large numbers of goats and you don't have a proper facility, meaning you don't have a good housing facility, it's very easy and you'll see the goats dying on you. It's very easy for you to lose a full goat. A lot of farmers call me all the time and tell me in the rainy season, boy, 10 of my goats died or, you know, some of the goats are dying. They are coughing, they are sneezing, they are sick. What can I do? The most important thing is to keep the animals dry and keep them off the ground and make sure that they have a nice warm environment to live in. Goat's temperature can fluctuate very fast. Their body don't really adjust to the temperatures very easily from hot to cold. So when that rain wets up the animals, they get very cold. And sometimes you see them shivering. And when they get wet, they clung together and keep, put themselves, you know, form a big group and put themselves close together to keep warm and warm up themselves and dry themselves. But if you keep them in the rain or keep them wet or have them walking in mud and infested and the ground is infested, sometimes you have an other animals pooing on the ground like cat. Cat is not good for goats in terms of the poo. These things can pass infection and the animals will get sick. So pneumonia, it's something that is very, very, very prevalent, especially when you have a lot of rainfall and you should pay attention to it and you have to treat the animals with antibiotic. And you have to make sure, sometimes when you see them getting very droopy, do a temperature check. Make sure they don't have high temperature or low temperature. Um, I wanted to bring this to you because the dust is such a, something that I overlooked. And in my opinion, the hay that I'm using have a lot of dust in it. And I think this dust is causing the coughing, the coughing of the animals. So we have to make sure that the animals have fresh, clean air at all times. So I'm very happy to bring this to you today. 
The animals are looking okay. I don't really see any droopy animals, but you know, they have this coughing. And this has been going on for a couple of days here now. Another thing too, pneumonia tends to affect the younger animals. The younger animals are more susceptible to pneumonia than anything else. I find that the young kids usually get sick first and usually have the coughing and sneezing. They usually get it more than the, the, the larger animals. So as usual, thank you for watching my channel. Please continue to subscribe and keep watching. I'll always have good contents for you. Bye-bye.